Hey everyone, welcome to BioPassionate. In this video, BioPassionate brings most important questions from your biology second PUC. Before knowing the compulsory questions, it's very important to understand the question paper pattern, right? Yes. The question paper pattern will be the same as like your annual exam paper. And your question paper has four parts. Part A, B, C, D. And part D has two sections where each question carries five marks. And one of the best advantage of the new pattern of question paper is multiple choice questions and fill in the blanks. You can score up to 20 marks without struggling. For your midterm exam, six chapters are included. Here in this video, I am just trying to give all the important questions along with the answers. Means scheme of evaluation. At the end of this video, I am going to provide a link which is having hundreds of multiple choice questions which are very important for your board examination. Stay tuned. Now, let's understand very important questions chapter-wise. The chapter 1, Sexual Reproduction in Flowering Plants. Let's start with a very simple question. What is apomixis and polyembryonic? It's a definition-based question. You will get 2 marks if you write the right definition. And here is a question for 5 marks. Mention any 5 features of insect pollinated flowers. It comes under the concept pollination where you are discussing about chasmogamous flowers and also clystogamous flowers. But here in this question they have asked the features of insect pollinated flowers. So just look at all these points and copy this in your notebook. Here is the question for 2 marks or 3 marks. Mention two strategies evolved to prevent self-pollination called autogamy in flowers. So we have to write two or three points regarding the autogamy. Here it's a two mark question. Differentiate between perisperm and pericarp. First you need to understand what are they. Pericarp it is a part of fruit. Perisperm it is a part of seed. Another frequently asked question about the pollen grain. And this they are asking for 3 marks. Describe the structure of pollen grains. And remember the diagram what we have written. Double layer, spherical, outer exine, sporopollenin and inner intine, pectocellulosic, all these words you need to remember. Here is the 2 mark question. What are autogamy and xenogamy? Look at the definition along with the examples and they are going to ask this question for 2 marks. And in sexual reproduction in flowering plants, they're going to ask many diagrams for 3 to 5 marks. You have to practice them. Amongst them, one of the diagrams they're going to ask for 3 marks. That's called embryo sac. Draw a neat label diagram of mature embryo sac or female gametophyte. So another diagram for 3 to 5 marks. Usually they will ask this question for 5 marks if they're going to ask explanation too. Draw a neat label diagram of transfer section of anther or microsporangia. Now, let's understand important questions from the chapter Human Reproduction. This chapter is very important not only for your board exam, KCET and NEET too. So here is a question for 3 marks. What is placenta? Mention the functions of placenta. So now we have to understand the definition. Placenta is the structure which is present between the fetus and the mother's body. And functions are, it provides the nutrients and oxygen to the developing embryo. It removes the carbon dioxide and waste materials from the developing embryo and acts as endocrine gland. You should remember the hormones which are being produced from the placenta too. And the second question, explain the process of spermatogenesis with a neat labeled schematic representation. So here you can remember two important diagrams, schematic representation, they are going to ask for 5 marks, spermatogenesis and oogenesis. Just remember all the phases from the beginning of multiplication phase till the end of maturation or differentiation phase. So these two are very important for 5 marks. Now another diagram based question for 3 marks, explain the structure of human sperm with a neat labeled diagram. You know it's a very simple diagram where we are writing the head, neck, body and tail. Body in the sense middle piece. 
where you are labeling different parts including the acrosome, nucleus, centriole, middle piece, mitochondria, tail. Next question for two marks. What is fetal ejection reflex? How it helps in parturition? So fetal ejection reflex parturition. You know the parturition, the act of expelling the completely developed fetus from the mother's uterus. So they're gonna ask this question for two marks, very important. Another question for two marks. Mention the different phases of menstrual cycle and the hormones which regulate the menstrual cycle. We know there are different phases, right? Four phases are there. Menstrual phase, proliferative phase, ovulatory phase and luteal phase. Along with the hormones they are asking. You should remember four hormones here. Luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, estrogen and progesterone. This question is very important because they will ask the same question for two marks as well as five marks. Name the two layers of blastocyst. Outer trophoblast and inner cell mass. During which period of pregnancy the fetal heart is formed? Usually while we are studying about the embryonic development, we have studied that what are the changes that occurs in the fetus from the first month to nine months. Describe the hormonal regulation of spermatogenesis and this question they will ask for three marks. So here you need to remember few words like gonadotropin releasing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. So now from the next chapter reproductive health, they will ask about four important topics. The very first one is problems and strategies and second one contraceptive devices. Next medical termination of pregnancy and the next one is art assisted reproductive technologies. So the very first question is about amniocentesis for two marks. What is amniocentesis? Give one reason for statutory ban for amniocentesis. A fetus extermination test based on the chromosome pattern in the cells found in the amniotic fluid surrounding the developing embryo is called amniocentesis. And why they have banned? Because to check the female feticide. Mention the natural methods of contraception. So in your textbook they have given three. Periodic abstinence, coitus interruptus, lactational amenorrhea. Now another important frequently asked question is what is MTP, medical termination of pregnancy? Mention the safe period for MTP. Mention the techniques involved in infertility control. Indirectly, they are asking about the different methods of art. So they are in vitro fertilization, zygote intrafallopian transfer, gamete intrafallopian transfer, artificial insemination, embryo transfer. Here is the two mark question. List the principles involved in the preventing sexual transmitted diseases like STDs. Most frequently asked and most important questions for your board exam that is list the different types of IUDs, how do they function. They used to ask about the principles involved in it along with examples. You should remember non-medicated IUDs, copper releasing IUDs and hormone releasing IUDs. So now let's discuss about important questions from the chapter principles of inheritance and variation. So for two marks they are asking definition based questions like what is linkage and recombination. Mention the karyotype of chromosomal disorders. So you know three different chromosomal disorders they have given in your textbook. Down syndrome, Kleinefelter syndrome and Turner syndrome. So we have to write the particular karyotype for them. So another question is here for three marks. Explain the sex determination mechanism in human beings. So where we are. Uh, talking about the chromosomal number in parents as well as offsprings. And remember, we have to write the schematic representation for this question. If you are able to write the schematic representation, you will get full marks. Write a note on Kleinefelter syndrome. So here they are asking about one particular chromosomal disorder or the syndrome. And the same question it will repeat for the different chromosomal disorders too. 
like down syndrome and turner syndrome give an account of hemophilia so it's a sex linked recessive disorder right so there are many examples they have given when it comes to mendelian disorders so out of them hemophilia and color blindness are very important so another diagram based question they going to ask for five marks draw a schematic structure and explain the different regions of transcriptional unit so you are writing two lines representing two strands of dna template strand and coding strand along with the structural genes promoter and terminator right it's very simple and you are going to get five marks another two mark question draw a neat label diagram of nucleosome explain the regulation of lactoferrin in the absence and presence of lactose as an inducer i hope that you have gone through the model question paper they have released in 2023 and 24 so in that model question paper they have asked about one particular segment of the lactoferrin concept lactoferrin concept in the presence of inducer so the schematic representation is very important and in the chapter evolution you know that it's also a huge chapter but here i am going to give questions if you need answers for these questions please comment below and i am going to provide the proper link for them first question give the diagrammatic representation of miller's experiment for 3 to 5 marks state hardy weinberg principle of genetic equilibrium write any four factors affecting the equilibrium for 3 marks what are analogous organs give two examples 3 marks write any two differences between divergent evolution and convergent evolution for 2 marks list the period brain size skeletal structure and dietary preference of homo habilis and homo erectus list the theories which explains the origin of life so by your passionate hopes you got something from this video please write your comments below if you need exact answers for different questions and if we need more videos on different topics all the best